All right, Charles Cannon here again. I'm gonna show you the uh, proper way to use DMC kit, mainly uh, pinning wires, um, removing wires from connectors, opening up connectors, inspecting for damage, and uh, anything else you might encounter. Uh, so, to, to start it all off, I'll show you some of the DMC components, the parts, whatever. You'll have, uh, this is a bigger set. This is for extremely larger wires, maybe mainly the, the 10 to 18 gauge wires. So this will have, and it, what it does is when you have different gauge wires, you'll have the dial that you select and it'll show you, it'll actually tell you in the DMC guide, which I will link in below in, in the comments, I'll give a link to the actual DMC guide. So you'll have that, it'll tell you which connector or which, which crimper, which part number for the crimper, which part number for the wire, and then it'll tell you what color, what color to use, because these these change. And and then you'll put you'll push that in, and to get it back out, you just pop it back out with this lever on the side. This one actually screws on, so you'll take the Allen wrench and you'll screw that on, and everything be good to go. So that one is not gonna be used by us as much as this one. This is a smaller set. This is for 20, I think 26, about maybe up to 18 gauge wires. Mainly we'll be using them for 22 gauge wires, little boys here. And uh, I know we use a lot of these pins. These are, I don't know the whole part number, but I know the end of it is 340. I use these a lot where I used to work. And uh, these will have, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a color band on there. And these bands all represent the part number of the pin. So when you look in the DMC guide, if you don't know the part number of the pin, but you can see those bands, you can see it's orange, yellow, gray. You type in orange, yellow, gray, and it'll come up with the pin. The part number of the pin, it'll come up with the crimpers you need, and it'll come up with the Pacific die that you need. So as I've already looked this up and I've done this for a while, these are K40s, which are right here. So this is K40 and you can see it right there. So you're gonna take this and first off, what you're gonna do when you strip a wire, I hope we'll be able to get, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this if we're gonna get these or not, but these are, the best wire strippers there are, especially for what we do. So they'll have, they have a gauge on them, has the numbers on it. So this one goes from 16 up to 26 gauge wire. So this is 22 gauge wire, and you can put this in the 22 slot. Now if I strip, you put this wire in, and see, you put the wire through, and you just, all you do is squeeze it, and it just pulls the insulation clean off. Now, if you look at this, you'll see I stripped quite a bit off. That is way too much. And the reason I know that is because on this pin, it's gonna be really hard to see in this video, there is an inspection hole and it's tiny. So what you're gonna do, when you get this wire to go in this pin, you can see it doesn't go all the way in. You see that? Let me see. Let's see if I can get this better in there. But this does not go all the way in there. And it leaves, leaves a little bit. So what you'll do is you will take your wire cutters and you'll trim this down to the size that you need. You have to do this. If you don't do this, getting the wire in and out of the connectors is just that much more difficult. It is extremely hard to use the removal tools on a pin that is not properly inserted into the connector. So with that being said, when you get this in there and you crimp that, you crimp that down, this is what you're going to do. You see, 
Okay, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. But, you got the wire, and the pin goes all the way down to the insulation. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your K40, and you put it right in here. You got little, little, little wings that lock it in place. And you're gonna look at the back of this, and the back of this has a gauge on it. And it's gonna tell you 22 gauge wire is number four on the dial. So, number four. So then when you, script, when you squeeze this down, it's a perfect crimp every time. And the way you know that is because these are calibrated. This kit that comes with these comes with its own calibration tool. What you'll do, it even says it on here, for these and for these, you're gonna take this and it says to put this on number eight. So you're gonna put this on eight. Just like that. And you're gonna squeeze it. No go side and a go side. No go when it goes in. If it doesn't go, that's good. Go side. If it goes and stops, it's good. So you'll know that this is this is properly calibrated. All right. So next, I'm trying to make this quick so these videos aren't too long. Uh, okay. So now, this is one of the, is a standard connector. It holds these pins that I just showed you. And when you go to put them in, this is the one that I just put on. When you go to put them in, you'll find your hole. Slide it in. Most times, like I said, this one's really easy. So it's in and it's locked in. You always make sure it's locked. If you don't, it'll just fall out and then now, now it's no go. So when you go to take these out, this is the fun part. These tools are plastic. They're kind of hard to come by unless you, uh, you order a whole bunch of them and they break extremely easy. So like I say, this wire right here, this single wire, I'm gonna put this on here. You slide this on. The white is the extraction. The colored side, because we have green, we have red. So the any 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 colored end, either green, red, yellow, blue, those are your insertions. So if you if you can't push it in by hand, use this end and push. You, you holds onto the pin. You push it in, and when you pull it back out, the pin stays. So when you slide this in, you get it around the pin. You can feel it click into place and it comes right out. Now, if it doesn't come out, then a couple things have happened. Either you haven't got it all the way in, or the pin is messed up, or the crimp is bad, maybe they used the wrong size, maybe they used the wrong die, and they've crimped way back towards the head of the pin, or they're way up by the front, by the barrel of the pin, and it's flared, and the extraction tool can't grab it right. So, that just takes you get a little bit of finesse. You got to work it in there. If you push too hard, these will snap really easily. And this is the only one I have, so I don't want to demonstrate that. But so we'll go with that. Okay, so you got the pins. This is these are for aircraft. I know we don't have these exact ones, but we have similar ones. And these actually have a built in ground to them. So this is the same thing. This one I've already opened up. I've taken the screws out the back so I can pull this back. This has like a back shell tape. It has overbraid, like a snake skin. Then it has overbraid for grounding. Then when you pull that back, it grounds to the actual back shell. And then when you take that loose, it actually comes off. This slides out. And now you have access to your wires. Some places are going to be real tight, they're going to be real hard to get to, and you're going to have this much wire to work with. So that's when you got to be real careful with your wiring tool. You got to be really, really spot on when you're trying to look in there in order to see what pen is what. That, that's when it really gets hard. Now, most, most of our connectors are numbered. The pens are numbered. Some of them are have the alphabet so when they have more than 26 it goes to from 
big A, big B, big C, all the way up to Z. Then it goes little A, little B, little C, all the way up to Z. Then it starts with double A. I don't know if we have any of those in our equipment that we work with, but something you need to know about those, when you're doing those, it's A, starts with A, and it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, no I, J, K, no big L, excuse me, there is a big L, M, N, no O, P, no Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, and then the next set, the small letters, is little a through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, there is an I, J, K, no L, M, N, no O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And then the doubles, they have everything except for double O. So, uh, this, uh, I've pretty much gone over everything, I believe. Um, when uh, I'll look up, I'll get the DMC guide in the, in the description. And then, so you'll know how to, to select your, your dies. Always use the dies. I know a lot of people who think that they can just eyeball this and they can use these, these teeth in here. And when they crimp down... Oh, I, I know it's supposed to be on four, so I can just put it on four and hold the wire in and crimp it down. I know where it goes. No, you don't, and you're not that good. No one's that good, and I've been doing it for over 20 years now, and I'm not that good. So make sure you always use the proper tools. If you do not have them, go to the Air Debt. The Air Debt has them. They have a full set. I have a small set here. They're going to give us a small set. If you don't have the proper die, go to the Air Debt. They will have them. Uh, so with that being said, I think that's it for this. And uh, I will get with uh, some people that I know to get some more as far as uh, coax cables and all that so we can have some more testing or more classes. Thanks. All right. Uh, see you all, all soon. And uh, let me know if you got any questions in the comments. And I'll try to answer anything you got. And uh, if I didn't go over anything, you see something, let me know.